Hello guys, I'm Foxy. Today I'm going to show you how to make an axe in a township tale. There are three things you need to make an axe. An axe head, a directional attachment and a handle. It doesn't matter what you start with. We'll go with the handle and here in the carpentry workshop, let's find the recipe for the handle we need. We actually can choose several handles for the axes, but let's go with the one on the 12th page. This handle can hold lanterns. Let's see what I need. This means 12 log wedges. Some items require 6 or 18. Where do we find wood? You may chop trees, find log wedges in chests, community boxes, or in the orbs throughout the town. We tear the page off and put it on the chisel deck. Now pull the chisel deck handle to the wall. We need just the usual wood, oak. Here it is. We take 12 log wedges. Take one piece of wood at a time and place it anywhere on the table until there are 12 of them. Now we need a hammer and a chisel. And we can start woodworking. Place the chisel on any part of the blue glow and hit it with the hammer. Hit until the blue part breaks and move to another piece. To access the lower parts better, pull the lever. Be accurate and don't hit other parts or it will break and you'll have to redo everything. When there is no glow left, you do the same in no particular order. And now it's almost finished. A few last hits and ta-da! Now we have a handle. By the way, there are metal handles in this game too. But you cannot craft them, at least now. You need to find them in the chests. Don't let the tools laying around. Put them on a shelf. Now let's go to the smithy to make a directional attachment and an axe head. Here we are! These are the molder eggs, where you can find different blacksmith molds. Use the rope to see more pieces. We will start with this directional attachment. Let's read it. The first is the visual of the product. And the second is how many ingots of metal are required. We need three ingots. We will use copper as the most easily found metal. Three copper ore can be smelted to get one copper ingot. So we will take nine copper ore and make three copper ingots. Where do you find it? Copper ore can be obtained by mining copper veins in the quarry, mines or forests as well as by killing fearsome terabadas in the mentioned locations. Copper ore and ingots can also be found in the orbs throughout the town or in the community boxes. The number on the top is how many pieces are in the box. The one below is how many you may take right now. Need more? Come back to the next on game day. Now back to the smelting. Firstly, we check if there is enough fuel. Usually there is. If no, check the community boxes near the smithy. Otherwise, coal can be obtained by mining in the same way as copper. Or you can chop trees to get some log wedges. At the smithy, go to the furnace, open its hatch, put all the ore needed, close. When the fire sign is white, it means it's working. If not, check up here, someone may have the metal. Then pull the lever and they will go here. Let's go to the other side of the smeltery and see if it's ready. When you do much more ingots, you may use bellows to make it work faster. But it's not required now, they're already done. Now let's take the blacksmith mold we need. We place it on the smeltery, take our ingots, put them in, close and wait. Ta-da! The attachment is ready. You don't need to forge it. This attachment allows you to place blades angling out the side of the handle, such as the axe heads. Now to the axe head. We find the mold, put it on the smeltery, load the ingots, go to the other side and take our axe head. Don't leave the mess, put the mold back. Now, like any other blade, you need to forge it. The forge is located at the front of the smithy and is next to the anvil. Put the axe head close to the center and wait until it's heated. Then we take it and put it on the anvil. Sometimes there is a nice big hammer laying around, but you can also use just the usual one. I prefer to hold both items in my hands. Now you hit the axe head quite hard in different parts until you see white circles. Then it's done. Now either just wait for it to cool off or put it in the water. The final part. Grab your handle with one hand and the directional attachment with another. You see the glow? You may craft them together. Place them close and turn until you see the blue glow and release the attachment. Now we do the same with the axe head. Ta-da! The axe is ready. That's all I wanted to show you today. If the video was helpful, please press like and subscribe. You can find more videos about the Township Tale on my channel. Anything to add or ask, welcome to the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye!